Hi guys, I bought another big jackfruit. This one is 26 pounds and uh, it's 99 cents per pound at Publix. So I'm going to show you how can you tell when the jackfruit is ready. So you press, I don't know if you can tell, but when you press it, um, so you can, that, um, I am able to press it down and also when you smell it you can smell the really uh, really fruity smell so let me see right here you can tell that I'm able to press it down um, so I bought this about three days ago and I waited for it for it to be ready so uh, I am getting ready to open it so when you press it you're able to press it down and also um, you can hear this uh, sounds like it's hollow inside uh, it's hard to press it because it's spiky <laughs> it hurts my finger so there you go now I'm going to open it uh, first um, my sister in the Philippines told me that to put oil on the knife so it won't stick. So I'm gonna put um, a little oil on the knife. So now I'm going to cut it. So, I'm able to cut this better than the first one that I did. Okay. Looks good. Um, I'm going to get a paper towel and wipe this. That white stuff is really sticky. It's like the glue. And... Also, um, I don't know if you can see it. That is the white stuff right there. I have to wipe. And we'll take the cord in the middle. So it's easier to take the meat, I mean the fruit. See, I took it out and let's wipe it with paper towel. To get rid of the glue looking good see now it's easier to get the 
fruit out. And uh, remember, you don't eat the stringy part, so you take this out. And you take the seed out like this. There's a seed. And also, if you'd like to cook the seed, you take the film like this. And then you can cook it like this. You can boil it for about 30 to 40 minutes, medium high. Uh, put some salt and boil it just like peanuts. Mm. Mm, you want to try, baby? Mm -hmm. mm. So good. Um, a lot of people ask me what does it taste like. Um, so I don't know how to explain it except it feels like um, rubber or looks like one too. Or, I mean, I don't know how to explain it anyway, but um, when you put it in your mouth, it's crunchy and sweet, but not too sweet. It's really good. You like it, baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So remember, after you take the cord out in the middle, you wipe it so it won't stick to your hands. Yeah, there. Now it's pretty good and clean. I mean, you can start. Oh, taking the meat out. I'm going to cut the other end now. Since I'm done with the other end. It opened. So let's get paper towel to get this white stuff so it wouldn't stick all over you or to the knife. This one is way better than the first one I opened. And this one's also heavier. This one is 26 pounds. So, right there. I'm just going to go ahead and cut them all to pieces. Slay it flat. And then. And I'll just put this down, wipe again with paper towel, and then let's cut the cord in the middle. So, I'll just cut it this way. careful not to get too much meat and then wipe it don't forget to wipe okay so now I'm going to crack it like this and so I can get the meat out easy see Ta-da! Looks good on it. Now I'm going to do the rest. So I got all the cores out. Now it's easy for me to take the um, 
throw it out. Danae is helping me getting all the. It's hard to do this. Rest. I think you can it's do the, it. Is it these that are holding it down? Mm -hmm. Take huh? all the. Yeah, yeah the vines. Like it's the strings. <laughs> the strings are holding it down. Mm -hmm. You can take the strings out after you take it. There's still more strings? Oh yeah, there is one right here. You have to be a little strong to take it. You go ahead and uh, pull it out now, and then you can remove the string. Try <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I'm gonna take. I did it! Yeah, go ahead and open it. Yeah, I need to open this. I picked it up after this. Um, I'm almost done. I only have this and this left. And my hand's still clean and not sticky. Just make sure you have oil. Just skip putting some on your hand like this. I also do like this. Anyway, I have. Olive oil, you can use regular oil if you want to. Yeah. Um, I'm done getting all the fruits out. And I also took the seeds out. Now I'm going to clean the seeds and boil them. And I'll show you how to do that too. At first, um, you need to take the film out. See like this? And uh, see, like that, it's just gonna come out. Which uh, Denise is helping me. There you go, did good. <laughs> quiet. Uh, this is all the seeds um, getting ready to boil, but first, I'm going to put all of the fruit in the Ziploc and put them in the freezer and some in the refrigerator. I'm going to put them in the uh, zip uh, freezer bags. Uh, this one is the quart. Um, I just want to put uh, some here and enough for me to eat. So when I defrost it, I won't have to divide them. It's already been portioned. So. Put them in the freezer bag and uh, freeze them like it is. You want to help? Um, they still taste really good even after you freeze them just uh, defrost them outside the freezer just put them in a, on a plate and uh, like 30 minutes it's already been defrosted and it's just tastes as good as um, before you freeze them getting ready to boil the seeds but first I have um, a lot of water on this and put a little salt there you go um and then we'll wait until it boils and then we'll pour this uh, seeds in there i decided to cook the seeds two different ways so i'm going to boil it and then i'm also going to cook some in the oven um i just wanted to put a little olive oil in the pan and spread it a little bit and then I'm going to uh, put some seeds just
I'm going to put this and uh, we'll boil it for about 30 minutes medium high. I'm going to bake it uh, 350 degrees for about 30 minutes and we'll check to see if it's done. Uh, <clears throat> while I'm boiling the seeds, I put the cover a little crack on the side so it won't overboil. So just a little like that. It's been 30 minutes and I'm going to try to see if these are done in the oven. Um, this is the one that I cooked in the oven for 30 minutes. I'm going to check to see if it's ready. It's a little bit hot. Uh, okay. mm. I think I need to cook it. 10 more minutes. It's not done yet, so I'm going to cook 10 more minutes, but first I need to turn them over. Okay. And uh, we can get 10 more minutes. Um, it's been 30 minutes, and I'm going to check to see if the one I'm pulling is done. I'm going to try one to see if it's ready. Um, this is the one I boiled. I'm going to try to see if it's ready. So this is how you peel it to peel the, the film. And it looks like and it feels like it's ready. Let me try. Mm, this is ready. So I cook this medium high for um, 30 minutes. Mm, it's really good. Mm, it tastes like a lot of people on the video said that it tastes like chestnut, but then I've never tried chestnut, so I don't know what that is. But anyway, it tastes kind of like between almond and um, cashew, but doesn't really taste like that. But it's really good. It's been 38 minutes and I'm going to take it out since it's ready. I just tried one. So bake 350 degrees for 38 minutes. If you ask me which one I prefer is uh, the baked or the boil, um, they both pretty much taste the same. They taste really good. Um, but I would prefer the baked one because it's less messy. I just put it in the oven and wait for it to cook. Um, the boil one, I have to keep an eye on the boiling while it's boiling uh, to make sure it's not over boiling. So. I prefer this. This is the bake. Hello.